Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Man Show with me, your host Sean. For those of you who wanted to know about the Salesforce Slack details of the acquisition, I think it's best to let this lady. Official Salesforce signs definitive agreement to acquire Slack. We have the pricing. Slack shareholders will, will receive $26.79 in cash and 0.0776 shares of Salesforce common stock for each Slack share. That represents, Aaron Wolf, an enterprise value of approximately $27.7 billion based on the closing price of Salesforce's common stock on November 30th, 2020. We do have some comments from Mark Benioff, chair and CEO of Salesforce. He says that Stuart, that's Stuart Butterfield, the CEO and founder of Slack, says Stuart and his team have built one of the most beloved platforms in enterprise software history with an incredible ecosystem around it. He says this is a match made in heaven, but as we show you these shares of CRM, perhaps investors need a little bit more convincing. Guys, I said this just minutes ago, but there is some thoughts among some investors that Salesforce, after a number of large acquisitions over the last few years, should be focusing on margins and operational efficiency, whereas Slack, of course, is a very big purchase at an enterprise value of $27.7 billion, by far uh, Salesforce's largest acquisition to date. I will continue to look through this release. We also have earnings, by the way, which I will get back to, and I'll bring you more as I see it. Back to you. Now, for those of you who didn't know, Slack are actually working on a... Uh, tracing uh, for the community which once completed once the vaccines rolled out it's not an if but a when it will be purchased and I think that is a huge reason that basically uh, they see slack as a replacement for email and they see at the right time purely because uh, it's like hasn't been profitable so, and although they have to pay a bit of a premium also before the vaccine comes out so they can charge more for the uh, and negotiate more for this tracing uh, so the thing is, if you look at the market cap, it's 25 billion. That's with the run up. Now, we see it coming down a bit as well. So they're paying 2.7 billion over where it was before they, they announced how much it was. We saw they come down to 42. Now, I think this is going to be a good deal for both parties in the long run. I think I would like to, uh, I have Salesforce and I am interested in, uh, Sorry, I I have Slack, not Salesforce. Sold out of my Salesforce, luckily, and this is getting very inviting. If it hits two twenty to two fifteen to two twenty, I will pick definitely pick up Salesforce. However, I will be using. I I may not have to. I'll use my Slack to have an entry point in Salesforce. It is, uh, I think, a good day for both companies, as I said. People seem downhearted on it. I would like to know your opinions. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment in the box below. Helps with the YouTube algorithm get a video out to more people. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. It doesn't cost you anything, and it means a hell of a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Uh, there's links to free trading apps and a number of other different things. 
I'll see you later. That's all for now.